Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me I got the sauce, I got the remedy Say you my dog, but act like an enemy I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy Shot for my confidence, shot for a better man I want everybody to keep a cool booty And hit me out, cause I'm about to say this But if I'm the 76ers I'll shut Joel and B down for this season oh. Seriously and, and, but, but hear me out. You mean the rest of the regular the, season? Yeah, the, the rest of the year. Really? Because for the simple fact, this is going to, like, this is going to continue to get worse. Like, he's not going to come back and be, like, pain-free, right? We saw last year what happened in the postseason, for example. James Harden had to have that explosive, I believe what it was, a game one in Boston, no Joel and B. Like, you want him to ha have an opportunity to heal up and then you go into next season, you re-sign Tyrese Maxey, you search the market because you got so much cap space, and now you get a healthier Joel Embiid for the long haul. Because as, like, for Ramona to say it hurt, for he couldn't even jump before this injury that happened last night, like, that is a major concern. <sighs> so y'all just heard. Kendrick Perkins speak that nonsense that she that he usually speaks on most of his takes, right? But unfortunately, with the news that the injury report came out with, as Joel and B is out with a torn meniscus. I can't believe I'm saying this. Kendrick Perkins may be right. Obviously, he's gonna be shut down for a minute, right? But there's more to this story, man. There's more to this story. And I feel bad for Philadelphia 76ers fans out there. I really do. But I'm about to say it. And this is what we're going to be talking about in this video. The Philadelphia 76ers process cannot be trusted anymore. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back and get with another video. Let me explain. Okay. Devastating news for Joel Embiid, but I'm not going to lie, not surprised. It looked like he tore something. It really did. But unfortunately, this is like a reoccurring thing for him every year. Like, any, time, any point in time, like, he gets injured. Now, granted, injuries are part of the game. Every player in the NBA is going to have injuries. I don't care what you say. You're going to have something going on with you, right? And it's just these unfortunate times, especially when you're the MVP of the league. Like, you, you were leading the MVP, right, before you kept going down with nagging injuries until that injury happened. And I'm going to give them some fans, give them some people that talk about, oh, he's skipping, he's chicken out, he's bailing out of the Denver Nuggets game. Well, this is a prime example. He was not trying to. So y'all need to stop that narrative. Stop that. What he's ducking from? Jokic, he played Jokic many times and he bust Jokic's butt. Yes, Jokic kept going back and forth with him, but the games where he is at home, MB got the best of him. Now, granted, yes, he hasn't played in Denver for a minute, and I get it. I get why the fans want to feel that way. But y'all got to stop that narrative. If he's injured, he's injured for a reason. He's injured. And as a prime example, you got a torn meniscus. Now, that rant is out the way. Let's talk about this team. <sighs> Philly has a lot of potential, right? You got one of rising stars in the league in Tyrese Matthews, who I'm a big fan of. He's already a star. He's going to be maybe a, a coming superstar in this league. You got Tobias Harris, who can play, who's a baller, but is not consistent enough. But he has been hooping. It's just if he stays consistent, they can go far without helping Joel and B. But that, that's the thing with his team. It always has to be healthy Joel and B. He gets injured every year. And that's a concern if you're if you're a Philly fan. That's a concern because now you gotta worry about, oh yes, he's he's doing MB things, but you gotta worry about oh man, especially for next year, because this year it's just not looking like they're gonna go far. It looks like MB is not is gonna not, they might shut him down. Next year, you gotta worry about oh man, I, I pray he stays healthy. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the concerning thing for these next couple years for the Philly. Right? So as a team, 
you got Matsy, you got Tobias Harris still, you got role players after that. You got Kelly Oubre, who's solid, you can shoot the three ball. You got Nicholas Batum, who's a solid role player also, that can do the little things for you. You got Paul Reed, you got Patrick Beverly still, and D'Anthony Melton. But the thing is, that's not going to be enough to win a championship with Embiid. Even with him, I'll help you enjoy on B. I just don't believe, especially with the the East getting deeper, like better competition now. To a less degree, Milwaukee. I'm not Milwaukee. You know, since they got Doc Rivers, look how he looked. Knicks. Listen, I am absolutely wrong by my last Knicks take take when I was talking about that Knicks trade they got OG Adenobi. They're hooping, man. I I would love if I'm a team, if I'm a superstar in the league, I would love to go to New York right now to play the Knicks. The Knicks look like a team that can go to Eastern Conference Finals right now. They can challenge. They can challenge Boston in the East. They can challenge them. Obviously, Boston, but they have their up, little ups and downs. Miami, Miami right now is not looking too great, but once they get the chemistry flowing, I think they're going to be really tough to beat. In the playoffs, I think they still made I, it. Might be a playing team again, but once they get in the playoffs, it's it's wraps. They it's it's fair game, right? You got other young teams, Cleveland that we have not talked about. Nobody's talked about. Cleveland has been hooping and they're improving and they're getting healthier. There's Garland starting to come back, right? And Moby starting to, a a better a better potential for him. And Donovan Mitchell doing Donovan Mitchell things. So Cleveland's going to be a tough out, even for next year. And then you got the teams of lesser degree down low in the East that can that has lottery picks coming up. Detroit, Charlotte, Washington. To more degree, Atlanta. Because Atlanta, they're, you know, they're Atlanta, right? They gonna do. They gonna put up the numbers, but they have the worst defense I've ever seen in the, in the league right now. The, and any superstar that goes against them, they're walking fifty point game lick plus. So Philly, it's not looking too great for Philly. I'm just saying, like yes, they got a lot of good talent. Good talent is, but it, it's just Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, and the role players. They gotta try their best to keep him be healthy. Because other than that, this process just can't be trusted right now. It just can't. It's just, I don't see them winning a championship even with a, Joel, a healthy Joel Embiid with this squad. Now, Daryl Morey, I, I, I have my ups and downs about Daryl Morey, right? When, you know, he had James Harden, right? And before Daryl Morey, Philly had Ben Simmons. We know how that turned out. So Ben Simmons and James Harden choked in the playoffs. So MB has to deal with had to deal with that too. Now that he has his own squad, he can do his own thing. This happens. And Philly, I'm gonna keep praying for y'all. I really am. I, I I'm I'm feeling. And y'all are top still. Y'all are top team. Y'all one of the top teams in the East. And it just had to happen right now. Getting by Indiana, man. It's just ah, Philly. Y'all gotta make some moves in the offseason. I'm not saying the season is over, over for y'all, but y'all not going far in the playoffs without it be. Y'all not going far at all. So Philly, gotta step up a game in the offseason, man. Because right now this process can't be trusted. That's all I gotta say for the video. If y'all go enjoy, give you ball like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts on what Philly should really do all season because, man, and I'll pray and be gets healthy. Please get healthy. We're, it's not just a loss for Philly. It's a loss for NBA not having NBA on the floor. That's all I got to say for this video. Thank you all for tuning in for this video. Be on board with